Ask any geoscientist about the Southern North Sea and it'll be referred to as the gas basin. It's December 2019 and One Dias and Spirit Energy have announced in the last few days the discovery of oil in the Darek Ossian well in Quadrant 42. Today we're going to take a look at the occurrence of oil south of the Mid-North Sea High. The headlines in December 2019 discuss encouraging results from a, a well, the Ossian Darek well, um, well 4214Z, which spotted in May and um, was announced in December. The well was drilled with the Volaris 121 Jackup rig and is located some 35 kilometers north of the Brea field and about 25 kilometers north of the Crosscan discovery. Ossian Darek cover a number of blocks. It's a dual target uh, prospect with both the Permian Hub Dolomite reef play and the lower Carboniferous sandstone play. The numbers quoted here show a potentially large structure with potential for up to one TCF, uh, but from different sources that uh, are available uh, on open source on the internet, we can see a range of anything between 28 and 168 BCF quoted. These are all pre-drill estimates and we don't know at this time how much has been found. However, Juan Diaz, the operator of the well, along with partners Spirit Energy and Neptune Energy, um, have announced that the well encountered both oil and gas. Having a look at the structure, at top carboniferous level, Derrick is essentially a four-way dip closure. Some uncertainty as to the spill point on the western end, but around about 7,600 to 7,700 feet is the closure. Here's a seismic line running um, southwest, northeast across the structure, and clearly it can be seen that the base Permian unconformity there is a very shallow um, low relief closure with the subcropping of the basin of Murin, it's possible that there's a greater stratigraphic upside in the trap and by the time we look down at the uh, fell sandstone level you can see clearly that there's actually quite a large closure at these deeper levels a time slice taken higher up in the section shows this very unusual pattern here of these circular sort of ovoid type structures which are interpreted to be a reefal um, though in one interpretation they're described as, as karstic however um, we don't know at this time exactly where the oil and the gas has been found but we do like to talk about um, what other occurrences are there in the Southern North Sea. Ossian Darek is not the first discovery of oil and uh, the question which well is? Well we believe the first well was 48221 drilled by Burma Oil in 1966. The well discovered and tested oil in Zechstein carbonates within the Haupt Dolomite interval. It, today um, it actually underlies the Dudgeon wind farm so wouldn't be accessible but um, a, a small accumulation of oil uh, was mapped within the Haupt Dolomite, though it's not ever been produced. Geochemically, the crude that was found in 4822-1 is very distinctive with a strong even over odd N-alkane distribution. We believe that 4822-1 may indeed be the very first oil discovery in the entire North Sea. Here's the log for the well showing uh, but back in 1966, uh, the interval was cored. There was uh, good shows throughout the, um, the Hound Dolomite interval. And here are the tests on what's called here the uh, lower magnesium limestone. Oil rates um, were measured up to 2,000 barrels of oil per day, but declined during the period of the test. The evidence of increasing GOR is interpreted to 
indicate declining pressure due to limited connected stoa. So without testing these wells, the size uh, is, is not always a given. There has been renewed interest in the Zechstein play. Well, 41243 up on the Cleveland Dome flowed gas at rates up to 34 million scuffs. It's now operated by Egdon Resources and uh, they are currently trying to farm out the opportunity to drill both the Endeavour 4181 gas discovery as well as uh, a resolution the 4124 um, discovery. There have been various discoveries of predominantly gas in the Z3 Platinum Dolomite and the Z2 Halp Dolomite um, in the onshore fields and some of them are listed here. There is also interest in the Pensacola Prospect, um, which is uh, Clough um, operated and subject to a, a recent farm in by Shell. And of course there's the Devil's Hold Horse, which is North Sea Natural Resources, a very large prospect with a farm out ongoing. Interest has also been shown by the recent 2019 um, discovery of oil and gas at uh, the onshore West Newton location just, just north of the Humber by Rathlin Energy and uh, an EWT is expected in 2020. So there is a, a lot happening and there have been other occurrences of oil in and around the southern North Sea basins. This play, uh, the Ossian Derek, um, moves the successful corridor of hydrocarbon exploration further north onto the Mid North Sea High. Um, we note that in the 4822-1, the unique crude oil chemistry seems to point to a Zechstein source rock. And we see that anomalous wet gas composition data, which is um, basically from a database that covers everywhere from Poland right across to the UK shows that the gases within the <clears throat> within the um, Cleveland Dome area are very very wet and unlike any Paleozoic gases that occur anywhere else in the basin. The data on the composition and details of every field and discovery and prospect is available in Trove and if you are interested in learning more please contact us.